Greetings, greetings, greetings. This is your girl, Revere Sky. You probably can't see me, but, um, I, um, uh, you know, I was checking out all those solar power programs. It's not what you think. So you own your own home. You got a smart meter, so you could qualify for a um, solar panel program where you sell electricity back to the light company. Now, that don't make no sense. Why are they going to pay for your solar panels and give you, the lady was like, you'll, uh, she said, let me get it right. She said, you will sell your electricity to the, the power company at retail value. So whatever they're selling you the power for, you're going to sell it to them for the same price. Now that don't even sound right. Because that means that the power company is going to lose money. And if you know, like I know in Jacksonville, this power company ain't governmental at all. They got this thing locked down. They're a different type of power company, okay? Um... So I asked her one thing, and this is a crucial question that you would ask these people. I said, ma'am, if for some reason the grid go down in Florida or my city, am I going to have a battery bank in my home where those solar panels are charging the batteries? She said, no. She said, your solar panels will be hooked directly to your meter and it will be sending the power to JEA's power bank and they will save the power. I say, so you mean to tell me when the neighborhood is black, my house is going to be black too? I'm not going to have a power bank. She was like, if you want to, you can buy batteries. There's twenty to thirty thousand dollars. I said, ma'am. Batteries don't work like that. The most expensive lithium battery, smart battery I've seen costs thirteen hundred. I say, so you mean to tell me it's a solar program where y'all are not gonna install a battery bank? So that if the power or grid shut down, my house won't still have power. She said, no, ma'am, you will not have a battery bank. The solar panels, the solar panels will send the power to the power company. So basically what they're doing is these solar programs. See, Solar programs wish that they could just knock these houses down and make a solar farm, okay? A solar farm. But instead of making a solar farm, they're going to make a solar farm on top of your house. But you'll save money because the electricity you sell to them, whatever you use, let's say you sell... A hundred dollars to them a month, but your light bill ain't nothing but seventy five dollars a month. Okay, you profit. It rolls over or something, or they send you a check. But I say, ma'am, am I allowed to connect a battery bank to it? She said, Oh, there's other, there's other ways you can you can get a gas generator. Do you have gas at your house, ma'am? Y'all are wanting to connect solar panels to my roof. But I'm not going to get a battery bank. So when the grid shut down, my house shut down too. So when you go and see all these Florida homes with these solar panels on their roofs, they do not have a battery bank at their house. If the grid shut down, they home shut down too. So do not be fooled by these solar programs. 
you're only helping the light company receive more power by using your roof. That's why she kept talking about you, you save a 30% tax credit on your taxes every year. Don't you file taxes? That's what she said. I said, yes, ma'am, I file taxes. I said, but people don't realize that they got a beautiful solar, they got beautiful solar panels on their roof, but they don't have no battery bank reserving any power. It's all going to the light company. And if the light company shuts down the grid, you don't have any power. You can't, your solar panels can't even send any more power to the grid. Because maybe a transformer or something went out. So yeah, just be mindful. The solar programs that they are offering are not what you think. They do not come with reserve battery energy. They are hooked directly to the power company, the smart meter. And from there, you buy back your power. The power you sell, you buy it back. So if you got a $250 bill, your bill might not be but $75 a month, pretty much. But those solar programs are not putting battery banks into your home so that you can have reserve power. Let's say if they have a hurricane and the power is off for seven days. You're not going to have a reserve battery bank in your home where that refrigerator and freezer can run while the solar panels on the roof charge those batteries. I just had to tell y'all that. I mean, like, who would have known that they're offering people solar panels, but they're not offering battery banks? That's like selling a Tesla car without a battery bank. Just straight hot wired. So there we have it. Unearth the magic. The truth will definitely set you free.